Hello Panther Cubs, it is time for this week's announcements and we are so excited because this week is Kindness Week. Here at Mary Williams, we thrive on showing kindness to one another. So we have some really exciting things coming up for this week. We hope that you all continue to stay tuned and get excited about it as well. It is also our continuing celebration of Black History Month. So there will, we will continue to have trivia, our daily Did You Know facts, and some more exciting postings coming up soon. So make sure you all are watching and make sure you all are tuned in on the announcements and on our canvas page this week's video is brought to you by miss melanchenko from our fourth grade team i think you all are really going to enjoy this history fact and how you can become a better chef all right it's good to see you all have a wonderful week of learning we can't wait to see you all soon bye bye Hi Panther Cubs, it's Miss M, and if you're anything like me, you like a good old box of macaroni and cheese. I'm going to tell you about the African American who is actually responsible for making this an American classic. Do you like macaroni and cheese? You have Virginia to thank. Thomas Jefferson, the second president of the United States and the writer of the Declaration of Independence, grew to love Italian pasta and French cheese while he was in Europe. However, Thomas Jefferson didn't make his own food. He had a chef named James Hemings. James Hemings was an enslaved man who became part of Thomas Jefferson's household after Jefferson married his wife and got all of her property. James was only nine years old. As a teenager, James was Thomas Jefferson's personal attendant and he traveled with him all over the world. James Hemings learned to speak French and studied cooking with famous French chefs. After three years of studying, he became the head chef at the American Embassy in France. James Hemings was a highly talented, trusted, intelligent, and respected chef. And then it was time to return to the United States with Thomas Jefferson. Now, Nobody knows exactly how French cheese and Italian pasta came together, but James Hemings served famous Americans some of the first macaroni and cheese, making it a popular American dish. People were confused at first. Uh, some people even thought that the macaroni noodles were slices of onions, but the dish kept getting more and more famous. James Hemings eventually asked Thomas Jefferson for his freedom and Jefferson granted it. He did have one request, to train his new cook. I'm gonna show you how to make James Hennings' mac and cheese recipe, kind of, with a couple little twists. For this recipe, you will need two tablespoons of flour, two tablespoons of butter, two cups of milk. I have 12 ounces of grated cheese. We're also going to be using some spices. Remember, spices were super expensive in the past. So we have salt, pepper, and cayenne pepper. That's red pepper here. And at the end, we're gonna grate a little nutmeg on top. We're gonna take our two tablespoons of butter, melt that in the pan. Now that my butter is melted, I'm going to whisk in my two tablespoons of flour. This is a French cooking technique called making a roux. Now I've got two cups of milk. Now you see it's gotten a little bit thicker. It's more bubbly. It's time to add the cheese. Add my cheese. Now that my cheese sauce is all cheesy, I'm gonna add in my spices. Mmm, smells good. Now you just gotta cook this for like two more minutes. And we got traditional mac and cheese. All right, and now for the finishing touch. When this would be brought to like an American embassy table with foreign dignitaries, maybe some fancy people they're trying to impress, you would take your nutmeg out of a little nutmeg container with a special nutmeg grater and put a little bit right over top to show you have the money for whole spices. All right, and now you have just made James Hemings's traditional macaroni and cheese. Bon appetit.
Hey Panther Cubs, this week is Kindness Matters Week, and to celebrate, Mary Williams is playing a fun game of Kindness Bingo. You guys all know how to play bingo, right? The goal is to get five squares completed in a row, but we encourage you to take a look at our extra special challenges that are written in bold. These include writing a kudos to an essential worker, thanking them for all the hard work that they do, writing a get well soon card for someone in the hospital with COVID-19, and taking time to make a Flipgrid video to celebrate Black History Month. There are lots of great kindness challenges on here, so we hope that you participate, and when you're done, take a picture of you and your completed bingo board, have your parents or family send it to Mrs. Myers, and see yourselves on the morning announcements next week. We can't wait to hear about all the kindness that you spread throughout the upcoming week. This week's Kindness Challenge comes from Xavier in Ms. Anderson's class. He challenges everyone to take turns and to use your listening ears. Have a great week, Panther Cubs! Let's all see.